infrastructure development, infrastructure finance is essential for Africa's development. Right now, the lack of infrastructure in transport and energy and water and ICT is costing around 2% of GDP of the continent. On the other hand, as we build this infrastructure, we have to ensure that this infrastructure will remain because the impact of climate change on infrastructure development is obvious. Every time we're going to have a cyclone, more road will be affected, some power shortages will be increased, water uh, facility could be affected, and therefore it's very important to link the infrastructure development to the climate development. A 2% increase in the temperature will affect around 1.5 billion people in the water sector, increasing their water scarcity. So there is a link between water scarcity, water security, climate security. But related to that, when we talk about the water sector, we have to think about irrigation. Around 70% or 65% of the water used in the continent are for irrigation. And that brings us automatically to the discussion about food security. So the nexus between food security, climate security, and water security is important. And here, the World Bank and its partners are calling for what I would call the climate smart agriculture. And that will have triple win. Basically, we'll talk about improved agriculture, protect the environment, and enhance food security. So we have to work on these three nexus. And if we succeed by putting this bold on the agenda on the climate change, that will be an important aspect. We cannot simply talk about food security without discussing the smart agriculture, what kind of technology, what kind of resilience, what kind of adaptation policy, what do we do, what kind, how we use the land more efficiently, how many crops per year we can have, and especially in an environment where we can have more cyclone, more drought, more flood, and more impact.